bringing me down again. Burning, 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 my heart on fire. Burning, burning, right down to the wire. Will I get through? Oh, I'll get through. Meet the retro soul singer and songwriter Tara Priya, who is based in Los Angeles. How long does it take for her to compose a song? Sometimes 15 minutes. Tara is the winner of the 18th annual Billboard Song Contest, as well as being one of the three pop finalists in the John Lennon Songwriting Contest. Tara graduated from Columbia University in less than three years, majoring in economics. But singing is where her heart lies. Your first album was released in 2010. Yes, my first EP was six songs, and it was released in September of 2010, and then I released it physically in November of 2010. This is a self-titled album? Self-titled, yeah. An EP is extended play. Yeah, EP <laughs> just means something that's six songs or less. Like you have a second album coming up. I do. Well, um, maybe not a full-length album. I'm not sure how I'm going to release it, everything yet, but I definitely have a lot of new songs out. But they're in my hands, and I can't wait to share them. Um, and I'll definitely be releasing some singles, maybe even a second EP. That would be fun. And it's me. Um, songwriters, I would say um, Bob Dylan, um, The Beatles. The Beatles, they just know how to write a pop song. They always did. And then later on, they experimented. But I really um, learned early on how to write a pop song from the Beatles from when I was like three or four. Um, Bob Dylan, who definitely taught me that lyrics make, make a song. Uh, a lot of people, rappers like Lauryn Hill and Tupac, when they tell a story, I think that's incredibly worthwhile. The singers, um, anybody who has a distinctive voice, who knows their own voice and exploits the little um, eccentricities and quirks in that voice. So Nina Simone. Um, Etta James, um, Billie Holiday, um, Lauren Hill, she just has an amazing voice. It's not that quirky, but it's really good. Um, Amy Winehouse, Duffy, Adele, anyone who has like a really distinctive voice. I really like Ray LaMontagne's voice. Um, it's so unique and so emotional. Any voice that has character and um, conveys emotion very well is a voice that I really connect with and that inspires me to um, develop my own characteristics more fully and put more emotion into my songs and my voice. You've been described as a retro soul singer. What does that mean? Retro soul is a title that that is put on music that sounds like it has aspects from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s of um, soul music and um, like funk, sometimes a little bit of funk. Um, it's not even necessarily all soul anymore. They apply that title to a broad variety uh, of music, but it's basically any music that sounds like it has a Motown influence or um, an old school R&B influence. And it usually will have like um, horns in it. It'll have like a strong, maybe like a Detroit um, drum beat in it. So. It'll, it'll sound, you'll feel like you're sounding something that has a touch of the um, golden oldies to it. And where can one go and listen to your songs? You can hear my music at tarapriya.bandcamp.com. And if you just Google T-A-R-A -A space P-R-I-Y-A and then like download, it'll come up. Um, you can also find it on iTunes, Amazon, um, pretty much anywhere you can buy music online. You can get the EP. Thank you for doing the interview and best of luck. Thank you. Sometimes, when the world is bringing you down, down to your very knees, maybe you'll think, well maybe, just maybe. Maybe my heart won't make the distance. Maybe my heart won't see it through. I wasn't meant to run a marathon. The 30 second sprint I'm through. And I wonder if I should up and quit. But I'm rolling, rolling, rolling My heart around the bend Rolling, rolling, rolling Life's kicking me down again